Good afternoon, friends, family, people who stumbled across my account and don't know who the heck I am. Uh, I hope all of you guys are having a great day. Uh, it is the 29th. We are get, coming to a close of Women's History Month. Um, so, of course, I got to introduce you to some more amazing women before we get out of here, even though I'll be introducing you to amazing women for the foreseeable future. Um, I got a really special guest I can't wait to introduce you to. I'm excited to have you guys here for what is the third episode of Zoom In with Zach. And as I promised, I'm going to keep my intro short, so we're going to get right into it. Thanks for joining. Zoom In with Zach. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Zoom In with Zach. Super excited today to introduce you to another amazing woman in my life. Um, and this was really fun. So just to give you guys a little bit of heads up, um, a lot of the times when I do these for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes before I go live, I'm actually catching up with my guest. And uh, my guest today I used to work with back in my days at the Nets. Um, haven't actually had a serious conversation with her for it seems like it would be yesterday, but no, it was about five, six years ago, and it was just so great to catch up, learn what she has going on, and I can't wait to introduce you to her, but I always like to let my folks kind of say something, see if you can figure out who it is. Um, I love her voice. It's distinctive. So if you know her, you know her. Uh, guest, can you say something to the people? Sure, absolutely. Hello, Zach. Hello, Brooklyn. Um, I think that's it. I think the hello, Brooklyn should have tipped some folks off. Uh, for those who don't know, I am talking today with the amazing Elisa Padilla. Elisa, thank you for joining me. Uh, thank, thanks so much for having me, Zach. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Awesome. Awesome. So to give folks some background, so me and Elisa go back a little bit. Um, so Elisa was running all the amazing things you saw in the marketing world as it relates to the Brooklyn Nets. So uh, she didn't bring us together, the team we have now. So don't get that confused. I'm talking the branding. <laughs> The, the vision, but logo, like I'm going to let her go into all the details of what she had a hand on. But for me, I was just the sales guy looking at her just like, you know, she's awesome. I, I want to I want to be a part of their department. And, and I used to annoy Elisa and, and shout out to my man, Jeff Gamble, who hopefully will see this at some point. I used to run over to their offices because I was like the sales guy who really wanted to be the marketing guy. So I would try to hang out with him and get as many little nuggets of information uh, as possible. And was always super jealous of her team that was working in her cubes over there because it seemed like they had fun all the time. Um, but Elisa, tell the folks a little bit about your history with the Nets and and actually a, a flyby of what you've done since because some of the companies you, you've had a chance to work with are, are just downright amazing. But again, we got Elisa Padilla, uh, marketing extraordinaire. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you. Thanks for that, Zach. It was great working with you back when, you know, when we were still Nets basketball before we transitioned officially to um, the Brooklyn Nats. And, you know, I will say that while I was leading the marketing efforts for the Nets at the time, it was a team effort um, from our external agency partner to our internal team to every single department across the organization. Um, but we were charged with literally ch transforming Nets basketball to the Brooklyn Nets. And I was responsible for everything from research, the branding, um, merchandise, I mean, everything that was consumer facing and really changing the, the consumer perception of what Nets basketball was and leading up to our move to Brooklyn. And then when we got to Brooklyn was just really having Brooklyn Knights embrace the team um, since they were so hungry to have a team of their own since mm -hmm. when we launched in 2012, that had been the 43rd year since the Dodgers left Brooklyn so um, th to go to LA. So, you know, the team, so the borough didn't have a team. So right. it was a great opportunity. And now seeing what they're doing there is amazing because I at least still feel very proud of the fact that, that you know, all of us, including yourself who work there, laid the foundation for what it is today. So it's pretty exciting. It is. It is. And it was interesting because there was an element of not only feeling that, but being in Brooklyn when they're building the stadium and being around all the, 
the fans and the folks who were just so excited, like that whole process was just, it was inspiring. I mean, it, it made me, act, I, I wish I could have just been the guy who went around and just opened up stadiums all over the country. Cause I know, I that know. moment, it was so great. And, and most people in sports don't get that opportunity. Um, but you guys, your teams and everyone involved crushed it. Uh, for folks who have never been to the Barclays Center, go there, whether it's a Nets game or not, experience the building. Check out the Nets if you can get a ticket eventually when tickets are widely available because um, they're they're doing pretty good. And, and at least it's been tough for me because I'm a Sixers guy. Oh, so I know you are. <laughs> having six years in first place in my Nets right there, like I'm, I'm nervous for what's about to come in these NBA playoffs eventually. But uh, I'll be weirdly rooting for both teams, um, as I'm sure you do, too. But um, before we get into our three questions. Give people a little bit about you now uh, as Elisa Padilla, maybe some of your, your journey to this point and, and kind of what you do now. Yeah, absolutely. So um, quickly, I left the Nats because I got a call from a company, um, Apple, um, based them. in Sal Silicon Valley. So um, took, you know, took my talent from Brooklyn to Cupertino, um, was there for a very short period of time and then had to come back um, to the Northeast for family reasons. Mm -hmm. And then I took my talent sack. I had a pit stop in New York at the Howard Hughes company at, before um, I ended up in um, Miami um, and had the privilege there to work with the new ownership group of the Miami Marlins um, back in 2018 and lead the rebrand of the Miami Marlins as well with a, an amazing team on right. the ground there and, as well. Shout out to them for the first hire of a, a female GM. Oh, uh, yes. the Marlins yes. Kim Ng. Shout out yes. to the Marlins. We appreciate yes. you for that. Yeah. For sure. Absolutely. Let me tell you something. When they announced that hire, I was like, people better have their shoes on because they just shattered some major glass in mm -hmm. South Miami. So, and yep. in Miami. So congratulations. I, absolutely. So see now Zach work based on my experience with the Marlins and my experience with the Nets, like there's no other teams that I can root for because <laughs> they're like my babies. Right, um, right. So came back to New York and, um, you know, took a position at Rock Nation and I was due to the global pandemic, um, I was laid off because sports and, and events came to a complete halt. Right. And um, I launched um, an IG live series. It's called Kick It By EP Lunchtime Conversation. And this is a platform to provide women with the opportunity to tell their story it's mm -hmm. rooted in education, inspiration, and paying it forward. It's a 20-minute conversation, Tuesdays and Thursdays at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And it's just snackable content. It's, you know, it's lighthearted, it's whimsical, but it's all about education, ed educating and inspiring people. Right. That's awesome. Um, I felt kind of bad when we reconnected because I wasn't overly familiar with Kick It By EP. Um, so I, once I found out about it, I started looking at all the amazing women you've had as guests. I've already noted a couple that I need some introductions to. <laughs> um, and I was just like, I got to have her on Zoom in with Zach because like I'm, oh. I'm kind of doing something similar. Um, no, but super excited to see that and uh, excited to follow. Anyone who's watching, you see it scrolling at the bottom. Kick it by EP on Instagram. Make sure to follow. It's not the only place you can follow. She has a website. She has other stuff going on. But But start there. And, and then grow into the world of, of Elisa Padilla. You, you definitely want to be in that space. Um, so again, super excited to have you here, Elisa. Uh, I need a number from you. So, okay. so so what I do on Zoom in with Zach is I ask you three questions. They're kind of business related, but they're they're not stuffy questions. But you get to pick them randomly. So okay. you're going to give me a three digit number. Okay. None of the, you, you can't use any number twice. So you got to give me a, a, a three digit number. And your questions are going to correspond with the numbers you give me. So what okay. is your lucky number today? Um, my lucky number today is um, one, zero, three. First person to give me a zero. And um, is there a zero on the there list? There is. Zero okay. is the wild card. Zero is I get to choose the question. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I like that. Um, but we'll start with one because you gave me the one. What is a cause you are passionate about and why? Oh, okay. Um, I am extremely passionate 
um, when it comes to animals um, and anything to do with animals. So whether it's adoption of animals, donating um, for animals, anything having to do with these little creatures. Um, and the reason that I'm so passionate about animals um, and animal care is because many years ago, I rescued um, an exotic parrot who was having behavioral problems because her little life had been disrupted and she had plucked all her feathers. Um, and we adopted her. And while she didn't grow all her feathers back, she grew the feathers of her wings back. And it just, it showed me like, when you give love and attention to an animal, how that's needed. Um, so I then adopted another exotic bird and it's interesting how life happens. I had, we then decided to get a dog. Um, and the first month that we had the dog, one of the parrots died, went on to the rainbow, had, um, rain, over the rainbow bridge. And then a year and a half later, the second parrot died and we got a second dog. So now I have two dogs um, and I'm just, I'm obsessed with them. Um, and yeah, I, I just love animals. I love them. That's awesome. Um, so your next question was zero. And sorry for folks in case anyone's hearing an echo. Um, so as you see, zero is random. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to give you, no one's, I haven't done five yet. If you could go back to your first days as a business professional and give yourself one piece of advice, what would it be? That's a really good one, Zach. Okay, great. Because I would tell myself to be patient. I would tell myself to slow down. And so I am, you know, I'm a tr tr quadruple A personality. And I think when I look back, I think that if I would have been a little bit more patient in a lot of circumstances, things I could have learned so much more as opposed to just, just going and going and going and going and not taking a step back to be patient. So patient would be what I would tell myself. It's a very good one. Let's go to your last one. It was three, right? Cause you were yeah. 103. Last question. Looking ahead, what's something major you hope to accomplish in the next two years? Yeah, well, that's actually a really good one because I can't believe that I'm almost at the one year celebration mark for Cake It by EP. And my goal nice. when I started that community was to really build it organically and slowly because engagement as you know as a content creator engagement is so important so what i would love in another year is to have really grown the community and to have made connections for the people within the community to continue to inspire educate and pay it forward um and because it's so important right it's so important for everyone to extend a hand so in two years i'm hoping to have a bigger and much well-known community awesome awesome i appreciate uh, all those answers and, and in a moment you'll actually have a, a second to tell people even more about the community you are creating um but this was great i, I really do thank you for for being my guest it was good just to see your face and hear your voice and and touch uh right and, and just touch base again like i felt like i was at the nets again like you know i had a little flashback you know yeah. that was pretty awesome and one thing i was telling elisa uh that i was the guy who was like a marketing guy trapped in a sales guy's body so i was constantly like creating things on my own like marketing materials that were totally against like rules and regulations and i was the guy that would always get like a slap on the wrist from like legal saying like hey don't don't put the nets logo all over the place yeah, that was I was the reckless one. So I probably gave Elisa some headaches from time to time, but she 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 kept uh kept a good relationship with, with me. I so know I and I I've just had flashbacks to you walking into my office in your suit with your little <laughs> portfolio. What do you think about this, Elisa? What do you think about this? So listen, I 
as much as you appreciated the marketing department, I just want you to know when we probably didn't say it enough, we appreciated the sales folks coming into our offices and having us be part of those conversations. So thank you. That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, so again, to the folks that are watching, feel free to follow me at zjames underscore rhc on Instagram. Um, and of course, uh, if you want to be a guest on the show, shoot me a message. Just follow my LinkedIn page. Um, and if anyone out there wants to create a production like this for your own business, happy to help provide some advice uh, to you. But with that, uh, I'm going to head out. Elisa, you can sign off and uh, tell the folks whatever you want to tell them. Okay. Well, thank you, Zach, so much for having me on, the, on Zooming with Zach. This has been great. And for those of you who want snackable content, please join me on Instagram and be part of our community. You can find us at Kick It by EP on Instagram. I also have a website at www.kickitbyep.com. Um, and I also have a group on LinkedIn, Kick It by EP. So please join us. And again, the IG Live is every Tuesday and Thursday at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And we hope to see you there. Thanks so much, Zach. Bye.